Good morning everyone and welcome to this week's Kids Church. In our Old Testament series, we've been looking at the kings and the prophets of Israel and Judah. Now, we know that many of the kings were bad. They didn't live in God's ways. They followed and worshipped false gods and idols. There was the occasional good king who tried to bring the people back to God's ways, but this never happened for long and the people went back to their old sinful ways. This was true from both the kingdom of Israel and the kingdom of Judah. Remember, God split them after Solomon had turned away from God. While the kings were ruling, God sent various prophets. It was the prophet's job to pass on messages from God. These messages went directly to the kings and also to the people, but they were often ignored and only a small number of people followed in God's ways. Last week, we thought about the prophet Jeremiah and saw how God told him to go into a potter's shop to talk to him. God said that he was the potter and that the people are the clay. And if what was being made didn't turn out right, then the potter would just squish it up and start again. God said that if Judah didn't start following him, then this is what he would do to them as well. The people didn't listen to the warning given to them by Jeremiah. So when the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar, came to defeat Judah, God let the Babylonians win. Nebuchadnezzar asked to have some of the royal family and the noble families. They had to be young, good-looking men to be taken and trained to serve in the royal palace. One of these men was Daniel. Let's have a watch about this story of Daniel now. When Jehoiakim was the king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, went with his army to Judah. Because God's people had sinned against him, God allowed King Nebuchadnezzar to take over the city of Jerusalem. King Nebuchadnezzar told one of his leaders to bring some of the people to Babylon. He wanted boys who were healthy, handsome, and good learners to serve in his palace. Every day, King Nebuchadnezzar gave the boys a special diet. They ate the same food and drank the same drinks that the king ate and drank. Four of the boys who came from Judah were different than the others. They worshiped the Lord, the one true God, their names were Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The man in charge of the boys gave them new Babylonian names. Daniel's new name was Belteshazzar. Hananiah's new name was Shadrach. Mishael's new name was Meshach. And Azariah's new name was Abednego. Even though Daniel and his friends weren't in Judah anymore, Daniel still wanted to obey God. God's laws told Daniel what he could and could not eat. Daniel was not allowed to eat some of the food that the king gave the boys. Daniel asked the man in charge for permission to eat other foods, but the man in charge was afraid. If you don't eat the king's food, you won't be strong like the other young men. The king might get angry and kill me, he said. Daniel said, Try this for 10 days. Let us only eat vegetables and drink only water. Then see if we are healthier than the other young men. The guard agreed. At the end of 10 days, Daniel and his friends looked healthier than the young men who had eaten the king's food. After that, the guard allowed Daniel and his friends to keep drinking water and eating vegetables. God was happy that Daniel obeyed him. God blessed Daniel and his friends. He made them wise and smart. They learned lots of new things. God gave Daniel the ability to understand visions and dreams. When their training was over, Daniel and his friends stood before the king. The king saw that they were smarter and stronger than all the other young men. They were even smarter than the wise men who worked for the king. Daniel served the king for many years. Daniel and his three friends, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, 
were Jewish men who followed God and his rules. Back many years earlier, God had given lots of rules to Moses for his people to follow. Now, the ones that we tend to remember are the Ten Commandments. But God gave lots of other rules too. Lots of them. Lots of them were about food and what God's people should eat and drink and how it should be prepared. King Nebuchadnezzar was not one of God's people and he didn't follow God's rules. So his food wasn't food which Daniel and his friends should be eating. The man who was looking after them was worried that if they didn't eat the food, they would get weak and thin and then he would be killed. Daniel said to test them for 10 days to see what happened. If they just had vegetables and water, what would happen to them? Well, after the 10 days, Daniel and his friends were stronger and healthier than the others who'd been eating from the king's table. Because they'd obeyed and followed God's rules, God blessed them. Let's praise God now as we sing, dance and worship. Mm -hmm. Imagine for me a table spread with all kinds of delicious food, maybe meats and cakes and sweets and crisps and all your favourite things. But you know that God doesn't want you to eat this food. God just wants you to have vegetables, cabbage, sprouts, broccoli, carrots and all that you can drink is water. It might be really hard to resist all the lovely food and drink, but you know that it's the right thing to do. What you need is self-control. Now, we thought about self-control when we looked at the fruits of the Spirit. God can give us self-control to resist what we shouldn't have. Daniel and his friends showed lots of self-control. God helped them not to eat the food. And they got bigger and stronger than all of those eating the king's food. Let's sing praises again to God who gives us what we need. Hallelujah, 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 praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
and his friends did the right thing. They were living in a foreign land where they had different rules and laws. But Daniel and his friends stuck to what God's rules were. Because of this, God rewarded them and made them the strongest and the wisest in the king's household. And King Nebuchadnezzar talked to these four men whenever he wanted advice. They became quite important in Babylon, even though they were actually slaves, really. But God made sure that they were rewarded for following him. Sometimes for us, following God's rules might be hard. Other people might not like it. Some people may laugh. In some countries, following God and his rules might even be against the law. But it's always the right thing to do. And like with Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael and Azariah, God will reward faithfulness to him. Shall we pray? Dear God, help us to follow your rules even when it's hard. When we're tempted to do what you want us not to do, we ask that you will give us self-control like you gave to Daniel to resist the king's food. We ask that you give us strength to follow you and your rules wherever we are and whoever is around us, whatever they might be doing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Well, that's all for this week's Kids Church. Next week, we'll learn more about Daniel and his friends. This week, though, remember, wherever we are, we should obey God's rules. It's always the right thing to do. Sometimes obeying God's rules can mean that we need a lot of self-control, which the Holy Spirit can give to us, and that God will reward us in some way for being faithful to him. I'll see you next time. Bye.
day, every day, every day, in every way. I'm gonna let my little light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. I'm gonna let